Hey everyone, welcome back to another unboxing video and here we have some Halo and some Avengers figures. Now as you can see we have uh, Spartan Palmer from Halo 4 and 5. Um, this is obviously Jazzwares uh, Halo Spartan Collection. Um, now you can see right here there's Palmer, there's Chief, and the ones that I don't have yet is the Mark V B, which not sure if I'll pick up, but I'm actually really hope, uh, curious to pick up Noble Six. Um, I think that'll be an interesting figure to look at. But um, like I said, here's uh, Master Chief, which has a whole new paint deco, a different weapon, and an interesting new accessory. Which is weird because he has it sculpted on his hand or wrist right there, but here we see the little uh, grappling hook that he has, the grapple shot that's going to be in Halo Infinite. And uh, like I said, in the back of the box, and uh, you can see like Halo uh, Master, <laughs> Master Chief looks a lot cleaner here. There's some scuffs here and there, but here we can see he looks like he's been beaten up and just, uh, I don't know, like just a lot of soot and dirt and grime all over him. So um, we're going to go ahead and look at those. Um, like I said, we have uh, the Avengers in uh, Endgame Thor, uh, you know, obviously Fat Thor <laughs> with uh, Mjolnir, or Mjolnir and Stormbreaker, so that's going to be interesting to see. And then in the back, we have the Endgame Iron Man, I don't even know what that is, and then Thanos. And yeah, so I'm very uh, excited to open these up, so let's go ahead and get right to it. So, yeah. Alright, and we are back with the Jazzwares Halo toys, and um, I guess we can just go ahead and start off with Spartan Palmer, and uh, now one thing I do got to point out is, uh, sadly, she's going to have to keep her helmet on because my dog somehow got a, head of her, uh, a hold of her head, and she looks like uh, she took the blade side of a gravity hammer to her face, so that sucks a lot um yeah you can see right there all the teeth marks yeah it, it sucks i that was i guess that was on my end i thought i thought i i thought i had the head on on the table maybe it must have fallen down and he got a hold of it either way you know it happens uh dogs can be awesome but they can also be pain in the asses but um anyways so yeah she's gonna have to keep her um i believe this is the scout armor helmet on but it's still cool um, should they give her the dual wielding magic? She comes with a Halo 5 assault rifle. Now, if you were to repaint this and make it mostly silver and gray, you could actually make this the Halo 4 assault rifle. But um, as it stands, it's the Halo 5, which is really cool. It has the green and the, and the silver line. Uh, very interesting design choice. Not sure why they did this when... I think the classic look was a, was a, at least in my opinion a little better in, in Halo 4, but it's still it's really cool. Um, and so yeah, you know, like I said, she gets she has the two Halo 5 Magnums, Halo 4, Halo 5 Magnums. Uh, interesting enough, I think uh, I can't remember it. I I I couldn't really tell the difference the differences between the Halo 4 and 5 des design of the Magnum, but there was definitely a difference. I just. I don't know, so I can't tell if these are the right magnums or not, or if they're just swapping, uh, if they're just making this like an interchangeable character, you know, because her design didn't really change much at all in Halo 5, so I don't know. I like, guess it's just up to your own interpretation, but um, definitely a, an interesting body type. I mean, you can tell she's very slender and much, like, much thinner than Chief or the other Spartans, and it makes it a little worrisome because... Her joints run the risk of being a little loose, plus her, her waist joint is like very loose. So I have to find these like, you know, like interesting angles, of like keeping her, you know, looking straight. But then she looks like she's posing for like a, like a, like a, like a bikini magazine or something. So I don't know, like it's, it's a little difficult, but it just, I, I'm sure with some, you know, with some working on it, like it'll, I'll find so You can pose her really, really well. She has a lot of good double jointed. Uh, knees which by the way the I'm gonna show it on chief too but the double the double joints they actually the uh they actually have a bit of a new design 
and uh, I'll show this and when I could do some comparisons, but uh, I'm pretty sure the design changed. But uh, I think that's all I got to say for Palmer. Like I said, like, you know, it's really good design. I love the, I like the painting in detail. Um, not quite McFarlane, but definitely, I think, better than Mattel. You know, even though I don't like, you know, hating on Mattel, it's still, you know, there is definitely some, uh, you know, some upgrades from there. Uh, but looking at Master Chief, now, when I got, when I saw this, I thought it was honestly going to be the same Master Chief, just with the... You know, a new a new a new uh, accessory. Turns out this guy not only does he look much cooler with the paint. Like I really love the you know the dry brushing and the dark like uh, you know the dark splotches. You know, showing that he got hit, like battle damage and stuff. But the neck is actually a little bit taller. And again, I'll do some I'll show in comparison. The neck's a lot taller, so he can actually move his head up and down. Now, granted, it doesn't look as natural in my opinion, but it still works. Um, the gripping hand is a lot different, which I don't know if I'm as big a fan of. I, I kind of like the trigger finger. Now this just feels more like McFarlane where, you know, I don't know, it just, I feel like it's gonna create some problems with like holding other weapons. Uh, but he also has a new grapple shot, which works really well. Oh, and the, this back piece right here can actually come out. Uh, my original Master Chief figure didn't have this piece come out, but... Wow, now, okay, I don't have my nails long enough to reach in, so I don't... But believe me, it can come out. Um, but yeah, and I, I just the grapple shot. It doesn't stick in very well, so it comes out very easily, but as you can see, it can like extend out and like he's just zipping off away uh, i'm just gonna leave that out for a second um now one of the downgrades uh one of the changes that i feel like is a bit of downgrade they he has a painted visor where before it was like a chrome gold visor which i kind of preferred that look me personally but oh well still there's some and like i said the the joint changes the joints change design too so uh, it's definitely a much more improved figure now, you know, mine's are my some of the joints are a bit looser But it does help a little better with mo with movement. He's can still hold a really good pose um, But yeah, so let's go ahead and bring in some comparisons so we can check them out All right, and here we have some of the uh, Spartan collection figures just get a decent look now It's not all of them, but it's just the ones that I want to get kind of just to give an idea um, so yeah, I mean, I want to show, first off, I want to show the McFarlane, uh, Master Chief, uh, from Halo 5, and show off his, his assault rifle compared to the Spartan Collection one, which, <laughs> funny enough, I don't know why I thought this, I just figured it was gonna be identical to the McFarlane one, um, but there are some pretty good differences, so like on top is the new, and then the bottom is the McFarlane. And you can see, I mean, obviously it's the same design, so both companies pretty much like nailed nailed it. Um, but as you can see, the, this one doesn't have the giant hole that the Mattel one has. Uh, the certain parts are painted a little differently. I, uh, obviously, Jazzwares is a little bigger. You know, uh, here let me. But yeah, you can see like the details. The little is a little nicer and more better sculpted where it just kind of blends in on the Mattel one. So yeah, it's, you know, pretty cool to see the differences there. Now, let me see if I can, which again, like the, this is the thing I always liked about Mattel. They had the trigger finger and it fit well into the gun, into the trigger slot. So he could actually hold the gun decently. The only thing is that the gun was a little bigger than the figure or than what the figure could hold, which is why I think M Mattel, even though the joints were were nice, were nicer than McFarlane's, they still had issues holding some of the guns. Uh, but regardless, you know, that's something that I think the Spine Collection does a little better. Now, as you can see, we have the Halo 5 armors. We had the Gunganir and the, uh, what was it, the Mark 7? I, I can't remember. Uh, I think it was Mark 7. Either way, you can see right here, you know, like this is what I'm talking about. I miss this uh, chrome visor look. I thought that was a really cool look. Um, but let's just go ahead and put these in the background. And the big one I wanted to show off was Master Chief. Uh, compared to with the old Master Chief. And again, like I said, you know, I'm, I really miss that chrome look to the visor. Even though it was just a little bit too bright yellow. Uh, this is definitely much more gold. I just something about it. I just I preferred how this guy looked 
but you can see like where this version looked, it definitely looked a little more toy-like. The greens were very bright, the black was very dark. Here, there's definitely a lot more, uh, I don't wanna say dry brushing, but there, you can tell there's a break in the mold. It just doesn't look like complete black. There's some, it's matte enough to where you can like see the details. Uh, and then same with the rest of the armor. They, the, a lot of that dry brushing really helps bring out the, the smaller details we didn't see before. Um, and oh, so yeah, I just so to show off the joints, as you can see, like that's what I'm talking about. These are like one long piece where this is like they broke it up into separate pieces. Uh, I don't know why they did this personally. Oh, yeah, and as you can see, my peg came off. I don't know how that came off, but uh, I don't know why they really changed it. I kind of feel like it's mostly the same range of articulation, I don't think it really improves anything or changes anything in fact like you can see if anything i think this one gets a little more range so this is just a weird design change not sure why they did it and i don't know if it's really done for the better but it's still something and it's at least interesting that they tried to do something a little different um because that's one of the things that like kind of the figure got some flack for before is that I think some people felt like the articulation could have been done better. I don't know if they really still achieved it. It's mostly still the same figure, but at the very least, like I said with the neck, like just to show you the neck's much more elongated. So like where before he could only look about up like that much. Now he can look up like, like that. You know, so definitely a big difference. Also, I feel like the helmet's a little smaller. I don't know why. I think it just could be either be the neck or something, but for some reason the head looks smaller on, on the new figure. But either way, you know, really good, really good improvements on certain things. That, uh, but also the grapple shot, uh, uh, it's pretty cool. Um, I like that they made the 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 new excess the this part more accurate. Like he actually has the grapple shot on his arm. Um, I kind of feel like it's something they could just had as a small accessory you could plug in and out, but You know as opposed to having this larger accessory, but this is still pretty fun um, And yeah, it just hooks onto his arm you shoot it out and you know, yeah, so Anyways, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and look at the, the next set of figures All right, and here we have the Marvel Legends uh, Avengers and uh, Endgame figures I was about to say Infinity War, but these are definitely all Endgame figures. But uh, regardless, it's I think it's called the Infinity Saga line. And here we have uh, Fat Thor. I think he just has a, a regular name, but I have to, everyone knows him as Fat Thor, obviously. Um, Iron Man, I, I don't even remember the mark, what mark number it was. 84, 85, 100, I don't know, something. And then the, and the Battle Damage Thanos. Now we're gonna go ahead and look at the two front figures first. So I'm actually gonna look at Iron Man. And uh, aside from the Mark III, this this has gotta be one of my favorite Iron Man designs. I really like the callback. Oop. I really like the callback to the classic design from the comics, but it's still like a, a live action version. Like they didn't try to just replicate the outfit and put it on, on screen. They took elements and from both and, and kind of hybridized them. And with the nanotech te te technology, uh, it really, um, it really, it really does help kind of bring that to life. Now here we have the Robert Downey Jr. head sculpt, which I think actually looks really good. It's pretty, pretty close, uh, close enough at least, and probably one of their better head sculpts they've done in a while. Um, but you can actually take it off, and uh, let's see, is it gonna cooperate? There we go. Uh, and then you can actually put on a battle damage head sculpt and you can actually replace this hand which these are his uh, repulsor hands So just to show these off real quick, you can actually take the repulsor blast um, Put him on here like that You know pretty cool, um, but let's go ahead and take oh whoops not that one uh, Let's put that back on it's actually gonna be the right hand and he comes with the nano gauntlet for you know his final moments you know i am iron man boom you know snaps his fingers and defeats thanos uh okay well let's just go ahead and roll with it and then you can actually take that head off and you can put on 
the helmet, which I'm gonna say the 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 hard the the one negative thing I can I will say about this figure is that it's really hard to find a definite pose for him because every head sculpt, every accessory feels like it's necessary. They in a way maybe because. I don't know, like they all just work together. Like uh, for example, you can take this hand out, put in, this is a grabbing hand. And you can put in the blade that he used. And if you want your Iron Man to be like super like decked out with weapons, you can put the shield on, which I believe goes on like that. Uh, not a very good design choice, at least not in my opinion, but it gets the job done, but like you can see like, you know, right there, you can like have him like defending himself, firing repulsor, have like a sword in his hand, you know. Hold on, let me see if I can, like I said, not my favorite design choice for the shield, but still, you know, just, I don't know. Let's go with this for a second, just so we don't take too long. But yeah, I mean, you know, just really cool design, uh, really cool weapons. Uh, I think that's all the accessories, but yeah, like I said, there's so many poses you can get this guy into so many Possibilities because of the accessories. So I think that this for the Iron Man alone this two-pack was really worth getting uh, Let's go ahead and take a look at Thor since he's right here and here we have you know his kind of uh, Viking hairdo that he had um, he has, you know, Stormbreaker and Mjolnir, and he has, comes with two extra hands. I didn't pull them out. I didn't really feel like they're necessary. I think they were just like, they were like reaching out hands for like the scene when like he's grabbing Mjolnir and Stormbreaker, which is really cool. You know, I always love that part. I always love quoting it. You know, let's let's kill him properly this time. You know, just a great moment. But like, you can put the lightning on. He comes with two sets of lightning bolts. You know, so another one right here. Don't really feel like putting them on, but as you can see, you know, I, I, I don't know exactly how to, you could probably wrap the lightning bolts around, something like that, I don't know, something, but yeah, I mean, just really cool look, the, both weapons are made of like a translucent plastic, which is really neat, and yeah, you can see like right there, shining down, so yeah, really cool, uh, so yeah, you know, and articulation is pretty neat, I mean, it's, it's a standard Marvel Legends, if you have any figure, he does it. The only thing is that I don't, he like he has this this chest joint that for, ab, for like the ab crunch joint and stuff, and it, it works really good. Uh, but he doesn't have a waist joint. I think that's because of this uh, this fat because of this uh, stomach area. But that's fine. At least he still has a good you know chest movement and stuff. But for the most part, and the hair doesn't get in the way either. Like he's still able to look pretty decently up and stuff. So the hair doesn't get in the way. That's not anything you gotta worry about. Overall, really solid figure. And I'm really glad I got a Thor fit. Even though it's, you know, fat Thor, it's still, it was a really cool moment uh, to see him wield both Stormbreaker and Mjolnir. So that was neat. But let's go ahead and move these guys out the way. All right, and so here we're gonna look at the Thanos figure, which I, I believe was a build-up figure for like wave one of Endgame. And I just put on the uh, the snapping head sculpt when like, you know, he's just looking down and pretty much in defeat and his face gets dusted and stuff. But he has two head sculpts. He has this uh, smiling one right here, which I'm just gonna hold him up. Uh, oops. And then he has another one. I thought I had it somewhere, or was that it? I think that was just it. And then he has his helmet look. Uh, let's see if I can. All right, there we go. But yeah, his uh, angry scowl that he has, uh, which is cool to see. He also has the blade, which f for this being a bigger uh, figure than the, um, than the, how do you say, than the uh, SH Figure Arts one. Man, why is this not going in? It was going in earlier. Um, the blade is on, is uh, sadly smaller, and it just doesn't look as cool, especially with this figure being slightly t bigger than the other one. Only slightly, though. Uh, I'll get to that in a second. But he can still hold it pretty well. You know, it makes some cool looks. You know, he, they gave him this uh, interesting hinge joint where, like, instead of going up and down, he can go side to side, so he can kind of, like, you know, like his charging pose that he had. You know, so that's that's pretty cool. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and get him. And then 
Uh, an interesting feature that a lot of the endgame Thanos figures have that I really enjoy is that so you have this, the fist, where it has all the infinity stones. You can actually take that out, replace it with the snapping hand. Let's see if I can. And as you can see, all the infinity stones are gone, which is a <laughs> is a nice little feature that I'm glad every version comes with. Uh, just to kind of rub it in the in, <laughs> rub it in his face. Um, as you can see, he doesn't have a waist joint, but he does have an ab crunch, which goes down pretty far and pretty back up. Uh, it's very limited compared to the SH figure arts, but that's to be expected. I'm actually really glad he doesn't come with the uh, removable gauntlet and like shoulder joint parts. Those were kind of really annoying on the figure arts version, especially because they came out so e easily. Um, and then he has like the double joints, which is really good. Both both versions have really good knee joints. Uh, the 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 feet articulation isn't that great, but it's serviceable. Um, overall, as far as articulation and paint, it's a bit of a downgrade, obviously. But as far as height, it's not too much. But it's still he's definitely a little taller. But we'll get into that in a second. Let's go ahead and look at comparisons. All right, and I just want to do a quick comparison with the three Avengers that I have. Obviously, this is the new version of Black Widow, the new version of Iron Man, the new version of Thor. Um, you know, I'm sure, I'm sure when Love and Thunder comes out, this will be outdated, but who cares? I'm still keeping it. Uh, but yeah, you know, just showing what I have so far. And you know, obviously, three down, three to go. I hope, I hope to some that someday Marvel Legends continues to, you know, re-release some of their older figures of the Captain America, Hulk, and obviously Hawkeye's coming out soon. So, I, well, I'll be maybe I'll get some like that. But yeah, I just wanted to show these guys, and uh, I, you know, really, really excited to get them. You know, the event, you know, obviously Avengers and Justice League. They're you know really iconic teams you know so hopefully i get to cl cl uh, complete the movie version of the avengers uh, but yeah let's just go ahead and look at the thanos comparison okay and here we have the marvel legends hasbro thanos against the tamashi nation's uh sh figure arts thanos and as you can see diff much much different uh overall looks even though they're both of the same design uh, this Thanos definitely feels a lot stockier. This one feels a little more slim, but um, you know, obviously this one has more articulation. Uh, this one's slightly taller, but it's like about a good inch taller. So that that's definitely a little better. Uh, more detail, a little more refined, or a little more streamlined, I should say. Uh, the only thing I think is just is a huge disappointment. Like I can let go of everything else about the Marvel Legends. I think the, overall this one is a really cool figure. The only thing I can't let down is the blade. I just wish the blade was much bigger. It looks too small, even though it finally looks more accurate. It's just too small. Uh, so I wish that was changed. But overall, the Marvel Legends version is good. I was really hoping that the Thanos would be like a little bigger. Like I wanted him to be bigger. And I was hoping that, uh, you know, he was, I don't know, just a bit more of a figure, but I mean, I'm still really happy. I mean, obviously, I'm I'm happy I got it because of the Iron Man, but this was definitely a nice bonus. Uh, it they came with some really good accessories. Again, I like the snapping hand, even though the paint, even though it's like all a downgraded version of this guy, it's still a pretty solid figure, and I don't think you can really go wrong with either version. They both have their ups and downs. Uh, like I said, there's just some things on this guy that are just loose. Like you can see the blade right here. You know, I'm, and I'm not a big fan of that feature of it splitting in half. I think it's just, I get why they do it because the hand doesn't pry open very well, but I don't know. It's just something with this figure, even though the blade is smaller, it thankfully doesn't do that over and over. There's just some loose things here. Like I get why this part moves and it's nice. It helps the figure move, uh, articulate better, but it's like the things that they try to make less of a hassle ended up feeling more of a hassle, if that makes sense. So it's like, it, it moves better, but it's not fun to play with, you know? So it's just one of those things, like, do you want the more high-end collector version that, you know, you put in a pose, it looks fantastic, you keep it there for the rest of life, or, you know, a lesser action figure that you can still actually play with and move around and pose better and stuff. It's up to your own personal 
preference or if you just want both because you got the money and you think both look cool. Now, I, I, one of the reasons why I wanted this guy is because I was really hoping he would be tall enough to go with this guy right here. Now, as you can see, that's just not the case. Thanos is still too small and I guess I should have figured that. I tried looking up to see if he was tall enough. For some reason, I heard somewhere that he was eight inches tall. So I thought, oh, perfect. No, he's not even close to eight inches. He's probably like more seven because like, as you can see right here, dark side being like actually eight inches or nine inches is like much taller, you know? So he doesn't scale that well with dark side, but it's still really cool to have the Mad Titan with, you know, the <laughs> with the, I don't even know what dark side's title is, the, the Omega guy, I don't know. Uh, sorry, I don't read comics guys. Uh, but either way, it's still really cool to see this. But um, anyways, this video is going way too long. So let's go ahead and wrap things up and let's look at the last figure of this video. All right, and here we have a very, very large figure. This is the uh, Jazzwares. I don't know if this is from Infinite or Five or Four, but it is the Halo Mantis. Um, like I said, it's actually way larger than I was expecting it to be. Um, now here is the instructions. It's actually really easy to set up. You literally just take the top half, the bottom half, put it together and you got the figure. So I'm very glad they made it simple and easy to do. Um, one thing I have an issue with is the Spartan figure. Now it's actually really good. It's a nice figure. If you have the other ones, it's just like that. I'm glad they fixed this hinge joint. It doesn't go back and up and down like the original. But I just wish they put a ball joint so that way you could have the option. Regardless, I'm just glad it, it feels more normal now. Um, my problem with the figure is that it's the Halo Reach design. Now I know that that sounds like such a tiny complaint and it doesn't really hurt the overall set. But it's just something where I think it would have been better if they chose a 343, like Halo 4, Halo 5 design, because that's where the Mantis come from. And if the Mantis is going to be in Halo Infinite, then they should have gone with the Halo Infinite design. But unless this is a Halo Infinite design, honestly, I can't really tell. I think they're really taking a lot from Halo Reach's uh, armors, which is cool, but still. Um, and it, well, and plus, I think, I guess another good way is the shotgun is obviously the Reach design. So I guess, yeah, this is supposed to be a Reach character. Which again doesn't make much sense. This is supposed to be a a later in a later uh, game mantis uh, uh, vehicle. So I don't know. You know they. I don't know. <laughs> they're they're kind of mixing games together. But to look at the mantis itself now, I actually have to kind of get up and move around. But you know, so you can get an overall look, and I don't hit the camera. But overall, I mean, it's a really good design. Sculpting is great. Painting is lackluster, but you know what? It doesn't matter for 40 bucks and for how big it is. Like, let me actually go find Dark Side because that's a nine inch figure or like eight or nine inch figure. Still kind of goes over him. So like I said, it's very big. I don't even know if I have the space to put this, this thing anywhere. So I'm gonna have to find somewhere new to put it. But yeah, just really cool. Um, Articulation is a little limited, but you know, you can go in and out, sort of up and down. There's an elbow joint and it can rotate. That goes for both arms. Um, there's, it, just like the game, I really like the kind of, the way the leg moves, it's like that. So, and then you can go like that. There's one right here and then there's a foot joint. So they really gave this thing a lot of pretty good articulation. There's also a swivel joint. Now that could also be just cause that's where it's connected, but it can also work as a swivel joint. And then this hatch opens and you can put the figure in there. And unlike the Warthog, this, it actually, the figure fits really well inside the Mantis. Um, I say that, but now I'm starting to, I'm starting to struggle with it. Um, shit. Okay, now, okay, there we go. Yeah, so you just gotta wiggle the shoulders in there, but yeah fits in there very well I'm not even it's not even in there properly I didn't even put it in properly but you can just as you saw it it still works and yeah I mean just you know, like if you're a Halo fan this thing is really awesome to have the Mantis is always an overpowered and fun vehicle to use and to finally have a toy version of it I think Jazzwares did a great job and they're just showing, with every release, they're showing more and more that they, they know what the Halo fan, at least what I want as a Halo fan from the action figure line. And they're doing a great job with it. And plus they're not 
doing what Mattel did and, you know, only releasing them online just for the line to die. <laughs> so I'm glad to see that the, the company is sticking with this line and they're actually taking good care of the franchise. So that's very nice to see. You know, that was the problem with McFarlane and Mattel was that at that near the end of each cycle, they just kind of stopped caring about the franchise and they just died quietly, which is sad to see. But um, that's kind of all I have to say. Uh, it's a very simple figure, but for 40 bucks, and it, it sounds like a steep price, 40 bucks, like that's a bit high, but honestly, you know, it's it's like I was surprised by how big this thing was. The, don't let the box fool you. The box lied. <laughs> I thought this thing was gonna be a smaller figure, and this thing ended up being very tall, very giant. So for that, I think it's one of those things where you know maybe maybe it doesn't seem like a worthwhile purchase, but for like the fun factor and for you know display options, I think it's definitely worth it. And I think it'd be kind of fun to if like you know you have the money to pay like 80 bucks and get two of these guys. You know, or if you want to go crazy, spend 120, get three of these guys, and then you have like kind of a mini squad of mantises, which you know, in the Halo games, that's a terrifying thing to see. You know, so yeah, I mean, overall, really solid figure, really solid set, and let's go ahead and end the video. All right, here we all have all the figures kind of wrapped together. Now, one thing I want to show off is that I did miss a Thanos head. I found the packaging, and there you can see it's the angry face the, when he's scalding. Also, Iron Man comes with a second fist. I didn't feel like showing that off because I think that's obvious. Um, one thing I did want to show off was that uh, Ma with the Master Chief figure, just like the others, he comes with variation of uh, hands. So for posability and stuff, or for posing, you know, you have your options. Same as Spartan Palmer, same thing, same hands, so yeah. All right, now that we got that out of the way, I wanna thank y'all for watching this video. I really appreciate the help. Um, normally I don't promote this kind of stuff, but uh, you know, I really hope that uh, y'all like it, share it, whatever, you know, I mean, it's just something where, you know, I really do want the channel to kinda, uh, you know, grow a little, but if not, that's fine, I'm not pushing. Uh, I just appreciate y'all for watching, I really I really thank y'all. Um, be sure to go to my art Instagram page, Giovanni Arts and Collectibles. I post a lot of pictures of like, you know, my art, my school projects, uh, my my figure collection, just stuff like that, things I like. And uh, yeah, I hope y'all I hope y'all enjoy it. Uh, like I said, just one more time, we appreciate y'all for watching, have a great day, and see y'all next video.